I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, September 2014. Canada, the accidental tax haven. Is Canada a tax haven? You could be forgiven for asking the question after learning that Burger King, founded in Miami in 1954, plans to move its headquarters north of the border as part of its purchase of Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is the Ontario-based coffee and donut chain, and Burger King insists its deal is not tax-motivated. Valiant Pharmaceuticals, formerly of California, became Canadian in a 2010 deal. A second drug company, Auxilium, is in the middle of doing so now, under a process known as inversion. Tim Hortons, a Canadian icon, did own its own inversion in 2009. It repatriated to Canada after the end of its decade-long marriage with Wendy's, which had left it with a U.S. corporate address. Canada is hardly a low-tax nation. Its overall tax burden is about 30% of gross domestic product, higher than the United States' 24% rate. But that figure includes personal income taxes and other levies that don't apply to corporations. Over the past 20 years, many developed countries have either lowered corporate income taxes, stopped taxing foreign profits, or a combination of both. The United States, with 35%, is now the highest rate in the developed world, and it is an increasingly lonely holdout. That's why, from Miami, the whole world is starting to look like a tax haven. My commentary. Canada has experienced a reduction in corporate taxation rates, and in theory, this should attract foreign investment. However, the Tory government's immigration policies towards business investors have become very restrictive. Source, Business Week.